nature trail number one or nature trail number two all right we're going with number two hi friends hey welcome back to the expeditionary johnny channel well i'm back for my vacation to estes park i got a beautiful day off so i'm at shram park state recreation area it's about a two mile loop nothing strenuous or anything like that just time for a little short walk there's also a couple primitive shelters where i can kind of sit down and and uh, i can boil up some water make some hot chocolate and we can kind of visit for a spell now one of the cool things about uh here at shram park is there's this uh, gretna fishery if you go inside you can kind of learn about uh what goes on on setting up a fishery and running it and of course right here in the water behind it that's where they're raising little fishies Obviously, this is the fish free part. Oh, well, hello, Mr. Turtle. Hey, buddy boy. All right, well, let's see where the trail takes us to. Mm-mm. How'd you like to get your water from there? Mm, baby. All right, and up we go. So we're walking along here. I've run across some uh, high school students. Looks like an ROTC group out through here, but I thought I'd stop. We got us a nice cedar tree. Not the biggest thing, but here's some uh, good bark here that peels off in case you're ever wondering if you're looking for natural uh, fire starters, good fuel sources. The cedar tree, that outer bark is really nice for that. So very cool. Walking along, I ran across some more of these ROTC folks. First, I thought they were a junior ROTC. Turns out they were like college R ROTC and a guardsman and stuff. So they're doing some navigating or navigating training and stuff like that. So very cool to run across our uh, young men and women there that are out there to uh, defend our freedom. All right, so trail is, I'm not gonna say it's completely leveled off, but it's not hard at all, just nice and clear. Nice batch of woods here to run around in. All right, decision time. We go with nature trail number one or nature trail number two. All right, we're going with number two. Oh, look at this. Look at how this just peels right off. If you're looking, if you're looking for some good kindling material I tell you a cedar tree has got lots of it look at this wow look at all that that'd be a great tinder bundle okay so decision time so we're getting up here right here at this bridge and just to our left is the first of two primitive shelters here out here at SRAM so this area looks pretty darn overgrown wow yeah, of these two, now I remember this shelter. I used to, when I brought the 4-H club out here before, of the two shelters, this is the rougher campground. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll move on to the other one so I can sit down and visit with y'all for a bit. So, well, it looks like uh, the Nebraska Game of Parks decided that of the two primitive shelters uh, locations, this is the site that they're going to maintain. Huh. Well, let's go up here and visit for a spell. A little bit of fat wood. <clears throat>
little bit of birch bark just in case. We have our everyday carry. Hot enough. That is hot enough. All right, so here we are. I've got my hot chocolate. Hey, cheers. Even though I didn't take it to a full boil, that's really darn hot. So I thought I'd just spend a few moments visiting with you guys. Uh, Rochelle, Jennifer, and I went out to Colorado for this last week. We stayed at Estes Park at the Rocky Mountain National Park. Had a really nice time. And I think we timed it just about right. Uh, we, we're kind of off-season kind of people. We don't like the crowds. And so we got a week-long pass, and we were able to go in and out of the park. Now, it turns out the last two days, like Friday and Saturday, that's when they actually opened up the park for their busy season. And starting on Friday of last week, if you want to go in the park, you actually have to have a reservation. So even though we had paid through the week on Friday and Saturday, if we wanted to go in, we actually had to reserve a time so we can go in there. And now, fortunately, we'd already gotten our fill. And so Saturday, we did the tram ride. And uh, so that'll be uh, in some upcoming videos. We're gonna, I'm going to kind of break up the videos where... Um, showing how you can get outdoors obviously you can hike uh we did horseback riding uh, we also did the tram so that you know it just depends on mixing it up you could even just drive through a park just to get out uh so those are some upcoming videos so what are some things on my mind uh recently it's like so i just put out a video on um, the kelly kettle and that's still kind of mullet going around in my mind so even today as i was packing up i had very limited room in the backpack um, so a matter of fact like here let me just kind of show you what i had to do before i left so before i head out i thought i'd just kind of give you a quick uh, gear overview of what i'll be taking out so in this little black bag is my fire kit i've got a little bit of birch bark and a little micro fire kit that uh, i'll be breaking out later got the firebox stove i've got my normal canvas bag here of uh, essentials I've got a couple of water bottles and then the big space takers. I've got my little gimbal and tripod for filming while I'm out there. And then the, this right, this brown thing is a haversack where I'll be collecting twigs probably. It's all going to go inside that backpack. So if I'm going to carry a tripod and a gimbal just to do this recording, that already eats up a lot of my backpack space. And, and so i'm not going to have a lot of room for other equipment and stuff so i'm going to go as streamlined as possible that's why today i went with with the firebox stove it folds up to nothing you can see um, it started up really easy I had a little plug for the palmetto woodsman i used his little fat wood pack and i threw in a little bit of river birch bark that i found locally here uh, just to get it going it took like nothing to get a nice fire and, and make my hot chocolate uh, which kind of has me thinking about resources today what did i use fat wood for just to light a fire. Now on Fatwood Friday, you get myself and Jerbs and we're gonna kind of load it up. We're gonna have fun and so we can have a nice long conversation, but 
Is that what really fatwood's for? No, not really. The reason why all the bushcraft people like fatwood so much is that just a little bit has a whole lot of oils in it. You can get a fire started no problem. All right, so I got another idea. Just kind of get you. I would love to get your thoughts on. I was doing a live with Dave Collier camping yesterday, and um, I tossed out an idea to him that BC Gerbs and I kind of came up with. What if we in our little Fatwood uh, and Fired Up Friday community did kind of a spinoff of the uh, Hot Ones? You know, if you've ever seen this one show on YouTube, it's called Hot Ones, where this gentleman. He lines up 10 hot wings. They go from the least amount of heat to this insane amount of heat. And he has a set amount of questions out there. And we all, you know, he, he interviews a person. And um, it, it's a really nice journey in getting to know that person. So Dave is doing a really fantastic job with these lives. And I was like, what if we scheduled, I don't know, four to six people to be on a live? And we all agreed, as like, we're going to cook up hamburgers or sausages or something like that. And we got our little snacks lined up. And when, then we have a series of questions. We have a host and say, hey, and then you go round table asking people, you know, tell us about, you know, how you got started or whatever else. And Dave thought it was a pretty good idea. And, of course, he asked me to spearhead it because I think Dave's got enough on his pl uh, platter. So... What do you guys think? Would anybody be interested in maybe doing a live and being part of this board? Now, I'm thinking Jerbs should be our host. Uh, uh, BC Jerbs, man, brother, is like you've got a great spirit. Everybody loves you. You're so easygoing. I think you ought to be the one going around asking people and uh, putting that BC Jerbs spin on it. I, I think that would be a lot more interesting than, let's say, somebody like myself. I think I'm a little too black and white matter of fact so just something i'm thinking about i would love to get to know each and one of you guys better and i think uh, a, um, a format like that might be the right form for everybody to get to know each other even better what do you guys think you want to be part of that all right well i think i've rambled on long enough um i'm gonna go ahead and finish my uh, hot chocolate here and if i get some other things to record i'll go ahead and record that and otherwise i'll piece this together and uh uh, look forward to catching up on all you guys' videos over the next couple days. All right, back to the trail. All right, so we are on our way back to the car. Um, I've just finished up with my hot chocolate. We got to cross this here suspension bridge. Well, it's just me, just a different angle here, me walking across the uh, suspension bridge. All right, so we're getting to the end of this hike, and uh, it was fun. You know, it was nice and easy. I got to hang out at the primitive shelter for a bit, make some fires, have something to drink, you know, talk to you all for a while. Um, the only hiccup was the All Trails app. I thought the thing quit working it because I couldn't see it on my screen. But um, as I started playing around with it, as I was walking back, I noticed the thing was still running. So... Uh, I'll give you a screenshot and you'll see, but so it looks like it took me forever because I wasn't moving for a very long time. But uh, anyway, I, I'm pretty, I like that all trails because uh, for the most part, you get reception. Even when you're out of cell service, uh, the phone is able to hook up and give uh, keep your location so you have a really good idea where you're at. Uh, it's really important to download your map ahead of time. Uh, that way, if you do get um, a little lost, a little turned around, you can see if you're staying on the right track or not. Yep, and here it is, the end of the trail. All right, so trail is, I'm not going to say it's completely leveled off, but it's not hard at all. Just nice and clear. Nice batch of woods here to run around in. All right, well, I think our journey is complete. Hey, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Later. All right, so up for upcoming videos, uh, just to kind of give you a little teaser of what's up to come, uh, what's to come yet. Over the next co couple of weeks, I'm going to put together a few videos of uh, basically capturing what I did out in Estes Park. I'm going to kind of break it out. 
uh, there's going to be a hiking video where I went out and got to see the moose. There's going to be a video on riding the horses through the mountains. That was a cool adventure. And then we did a, a, a ride on the tram up to the top of the mountain. And I'll tell you a bit more about that as well. So anyway, that's in the upcoming videos. Thank you.